All right, good morning, um, afternoon for those East Coasters. Um, my name is Leilani Evans. We'll go ahead and get started with today's webinar. Um, today's focus is how ADP's services and technology can assist with today's requirements for payroll, um, all of the new legisla legislation that's been passed, um, and we'll talk a little bit about our partnership and our history working together. Um, Jessica Moody is our guest speaker for this presentation, um, and this is her contact information should you want to get uh, in touch with her afterwards. I'll have the slide deck available that I will be able to email along with a recording of this presentation. Um, so I'll go ahead and get started just kind of setting the tone for what, why we're talking about this, why this is relevant to our SAGE users, and some of the resources that are available between TAG, SAGE, and ADP to really have your uh, whole firm covered on all fronts. Okay, so I think by now everyone really is familiar with everything that's going on for construction in particular, and a lot of our service contractors who are out there, they are essential to keeping these hospitals running, keeping roads open and things like that. So that's sort of um, where our, our assistance to you um, lies. So we have always been sort of set up to, to help with um, your remote workforce, and also now we're kind of stepping in to help with some of the requirements that are um, now in place for OSHA, logging information, and um, forms as well. So with uh, all of the details, everything that's requ required and recommended by the CDC, I have these up here just to kind of give us a little bit of background. Um, there's some recommendations for the CFMA with um, maybe your back office and allowing your back office to work remotely from home. Um, some recommendations on telecommuting and having that be a written policy or agreement that you're offering to your employees to be able to terminate and have that arrangement as a temporary thing. So that along with some other issues and things that you might be able to require like um, certain releases to be able to come to work for maybe your field um, teams who are going to be out there in the field, you know, have your have these people been um, in different countries or certain hot, hot spots in the United States, if they've traveled there, you know, that's something that you can um, you can ask about for your employees. Um, I talked a little bit about that OSHA um, new requirement and guidance that's available. So there is technology available on the SAGE software side to be able to log these um, safety meetings and um, reports uh, for those folks. There are also, uh, we've had a lot of questions about um, the software itself and being able to have those um, updates. They are not available. Sage is working on um, having all of that reporting um, and those changes that will be released soon in the next update. So we will keep all of our Sage users um, updated on that. There are some resources available on their website now and what they are doing is allowing um, or offering free uh, training on the user side for um, everything that's going on. So now is a good time to just take advantage of free anytime learning through Sage University. So I know our team is definitely taking advantage of that and using this time to really make sure that we are focused on um, all of the capabilities of the software itself. And I know that there are also um, some certain requirements for some of these loan programs that are available in terms of tracking where all of that money is being spent. And that's something that um, definitely uh, can be recorded and, and tracked through SAGE. So um, I'll go ahead and just uh, offer the screen share up to you, Jessica. She is going to talk a little bit about how her technology and um, how her services are going to help manage um, at this time some of the new legislation and um, 
let me just stop share so that you could take over there. And while you're getting that up on the screen, um, Jessica is uh, someone that we've worked with for, for many years. This is a service, um, although SAGE does offer um, a full in-house payroll system, we have a lot of clients that really just wanna refer that out to somebody um, who's gonna take, take charge of that and um, release all that liability onto a professional company that's that really specializes in that and so that's what we that's what we partner with adp for we are familiar with the formatting um, that they would require in order to take all of that information everything would still be maintained and tracked within stage for job cost um, so i'll hand it over to jessica to get started she's going to demo the technology and i will be monitoring questions and the chat box Okay, perfect, Leilani. Thank you for having me today. And I'm really excited to present what ADP has been doing for our existing clients during this time. Uh, I hope you all are staying safe. I am taking full advantage of the quarantine, sitting here in sweat, presenting to you. And uh, I think everyone's going to have a hard time getting everyone back to the office. But I wanted to start out with just a brief overview of ADP. Uh, I hope it's a well-known name in your household like Sherman, but uh, for those of you who are unfamiliar with ADP, you know, we've been around for 70 years. We have more than 58,000 employees, and we serve more than 810,000 clients worldwide. So we are in more than 140 countries, and uh, we pay more than 40 million people worldwide. So right here in the U.S., that's one in six people. So I know, um, you know, typically people in the room next to you are, are being paid by ADP. That would be nearly 80% of the Fortune 500 clients. So even though you may have 50 employees, um, you know, in the construction industry, maybe 100, maybe 300, you're still having to deal with everything that these Fortune 500 clients are having to deal with when it comes to, you know, FMLA and so forth. So we definitely are aware of those and want to make sure that we address them with you as well. We are one of the largest providers of HCM services in North America, Europe, Latin America, and Pacific Rim. So it's um, an obvious choice that everyone is looking to ADP right now. We are on the forefront of these matters, and um, we just want to show you what our technology is doing to help. So. Speaking of the numbers, um, 14.2 billion US dollars in revenue. We've got a strong credit score and we move more than $2 trillion in client funds every year. So again, being on the forefront of these things, ADP um, is up and running. We are ready to support um, the new report, which is what I will show you now. So client or not, we are wanting to share our resources with you. So. I, um, like Leilani said, she will send out these PowerPoints with these links, but ADP is more than happy to um, have you on our webinars and just help you through this. Um, the, the best one I think here is the Employer Preparedness Toolkit. We have uh, an FAQ PDF that's more than 60 pages of, you know, just how do you go through all of this. And so, if you want that, I can send it out to you. Here's the table of contents. You know, it's affecting everything from remote workers, how you're collecting your I-9s, what do you, what's the difference between a layoff and a furlough, um, you know, how do we apply for the Paycheck Protection Program, and so forth. So ADP has many tools and resources available to you. Again, client or not, these are all free. You're more than welcome um, to have these. And then we are also providing webcasts um, weekly, if not more than weekly. Our next one is tomorrow. So if you need additional information, I invite you to these websites. And here is um, part of our Workforce Now technology. So the um, people on this phone call would most likely fall into our flagship technology, which is called Workforce Now. Um, again, the reason we have the relationship with Leilani is because um, sometimes in construction you have a niche time and attendance software or you have, you know, Sage for your accounting and so forth, and we uh, gladly partner with these um, third parties. But um, 
you know, they still want a robust payroll system to assist them with um, these types of events. So here's a splash page that all of our clients are receiving as soon as they log into our technology. It is updated daily. And, you know, we're addressing small business loans. We have the reports ready. So there were three main reports that were built. Obviously, the 2020 CARES um, pay, Payroll Protection Act uh, was one of the big ones. You've got to have the headcount, the monthly cost report, and so forth. So all of that CARES Act stuff. We went ahead and built the codes to keep track of the hours because um, there are certain restrictions on who's eligible, and you want to make sure you're keeping track of when your employees are taking advantage of those PSL hours specifically um, in regards to these new acts. So we built those codes and we built the reports and um, you're able to gather those if you're a client right away. The other thing that we're making um, readily available is everything that you need in order to apply for these loans, right? So hot requests are for the 940 and 941 forms, um, you know, what, how can I defer the social security taxes, and so forth. So I just wanted to show you how, um, you know, how available these resources are to existing clients and how, um, how quickly we were um, able to get these live for our clients. So there are three main things that my clients have been coming to me about is one, how do I pay a remote workforce? The second is how do I operate an HR department remotely? And the third is obviously cash flow. That is huge, especially for construction right now. So we'll address that a little bit later. Client or not, um, you are able to take advantage of our wisely pay by ADP. So I think this is really um, advantageous to all of you on the phone for two reasons. One, again, you do not have to be a payroll client of ADP to take advantage of this. But the second thing is it's, it's free. So many of my construction workers are um, used to having live paychecks, and even if they offer, you know, direct deposit, their employees, the industry, they just love to still receive paper checks. So they typically would line up on Friday to see the payroll girl and pass them out. Um, they're no longer able to do that. They're still working, um, you know, trying to get the checks to the foreman or the leads um, has been um, costing them money and, and stamps and so forth. And everything's been slowed and delayed with uh, delivery services. So what we offer is wisely paid by ADP and it is available again to everyone, client or not, and it is free. This allows your employees to receive a pay card. Now the great thing about this card is the employees do not have to have a bank account. So that's typically one of the reasons why a lot of the construction employees like to have their paycheck stubs is they simply don't have a bank account for one reason or the other. So we assign them this card and we are able to load it um, on your payroll basis. Again, I can certainly send you more brochures and offer this to you, but this has been um, one of two of my hot requests right now is to order these cards and get them sent out ASAP to be able to uh, pay their employees remotely. So many cool features with this called card. They're able to do peer-to-peer -peer transfers, um, whether it's to a kid or a wife or whatever, you know, kind of like a, a Venmo. Um, they're able to do bank transfers. They're able to transfer to cards. I know um, some ADP employees have these and they have one card for their student who's off at a college. So they're able to load those cards. Um, you can do remote check deposits. Um, and you're still able to go to the refill, um, retail fund load as well, like a, a MoneyGram. So they have access to over 70,000 um, surcharge-free ATMs. So again, no fee. You can go to an ATM and withdraw cash. You can pay you know, at the grocery stores, unlimited purchases. There's a PIN. It's all secure. Um, it's, a, it's a great feature that we're offering right now. And the great thing about it is that it is compliant in all 50 states. So when the employees receive this pay card, they also receive a blank check to issue as well um, for emergency funds. So they're able to cash those checks. Uh, again, your employees can call that customer service directly, so you're not having to do uh, much administration other than getting the cards to the employees in the first place. So I um, encourage you to learn more about this. It is bilingual. 
that's um, one of the things that I'm um, always asked about here in Southern California is, do you offer Spanish um, service? And we do. And then they're also able to use the cards down in Mexico as well. So if you're here in SoCal with me, um, that's always one of the hot uh, questions that I'm asked. Something else that we offer is just how, how our HR departments, how are the controllers, how is everyone um, communicating with their new remote workforce? So a lot of times in construction, we're remote anyway, but um, what about your office staff now, right? Like accounting, IT, and so forth. Those people, um, you know, they're not in the next cube anymore. So we offer a free mobile app with our payroll solutions. It works with Android, Apple, even the, the iWatch. And we've really been working with people to um, tailor those messages. And the best thing about it is that you can receive push notifications for those important company alerts. So. Let's just say, um, you know, typically we like to advertise company picnics and holiday parties, but during this time, there are other important company alerts. Perhaps you are, you know, shutting down for a week or you're turning off everyone's badges or you're changing the schedule due to demand. You are able, able to tailor your own messages and push out those notifications um, to their devices. So you, they've got that mobile inbox that will display those notifications, those alerts, reminders. The great thing about it is you're sending a consistent message to everyone at the same time. So you're able to reach your entire workforce and uh, get that message across as soon as possible. Now, with our mobile app, you know, we have more than 22 million users on it. So there are definitely more features available, such as the mobile calendar, the company directory, their paycheck stubs, their W-2s. Um, they could clock in and out on this as well. Um, but obviously, during this time, the most popular feature um, for us is the ability to communicate and send those push notifications. So if you're interested in more videos or information about our mobile app and capabilities, um, just reach out to me. I'm more than happy to discuss that with you. Um, but again, for today, I think the most popular item has been the communi communication. The other um, feature that everyone is asking for right now is just how to access their HR files. So HR uh, practitioners and controllers um, are no longer sitting next to their filing cabinets. If you're like me and um, you know have been mandated to work from home, then how do you access everything? So ADP offers a module called Document Cloud. This is where we store um, all of your documents. There's no storage limit um, and you are able to access them. So the neat thing about it is you can um, share these documents. So obviously there's a folder that's typically secure and um, you know that's just for HR documents. But sometimes you need to share items back and forth between managers and then also employees. So the document cloud allows for different folders to be set at different security settings for you to do this file sharing. And one of my construction people, um, clients right now are using it for uh, receipts. So they're able to collect, um, you know, receipts right now and have their employees upload it to their file. Um, so there's different ways that it's being used right now, but the main thing is for your HR files, right? You're able to access their emergency contacts, their um, application, their benefits info, everything is stored paperlessly in our document cloud, which really streamlines everything. Um, especially while working remote. So there's other benefits and features to it, obviously saving money. A filing cabinet these days um, is $2,000 annual cost just to maintain that four drawer four door filing cabinet. But um, during this time, people are very happy to be able to access all of their HR files and run the department from home. So just wanted to advertise that module for you. As Leilani mentioned earlier, there are certain things that um, you're having to do right now. You might be doing additional trainings. You might be um, having employees take FMLA. And in the past, you know, maybe it was just uh, one every five years, you know, maybe someone got pregnant or uh, had to take care of a family member and you were keeping track on a spreadsheet. It wasn't a big deal. Uh, but during these times, they may be more frequent and you may need assistance with that. So ADP has um, a few different modules for you. One is called HR Assist, where we will walk you through the FMLA and how to do it. 
but more importantly, um, our HR module will help you keep track of it. So the start date, the end date, um, you know, how many days taken and so forth. Again, it's very important to keep track of uh, their absences during this time uh, for those tax credits. So just know, I'll show you in just a second what our HR module looks like, but I wanted to point this one out specifically. The third reason um, everyone's been contacting me is cash flow. You know, what can we do right now? Uh, luckily, construction has been identified as an essential business. Um, so, you know, you're still operating, you're still paying your employees, things are great. But um, what they're telling me is they're having a hard time collecting payments, right? Because other people, um, you know, it's just a, a trickle effect. So I totally understand that, yes, you are still open um, and conducting business, but um, the cash flow is an issue, hot topic for everyone right now. Um, and one of the main areas that we're able to uh, assist right now is with workers' comp. So typically with a typical carrier, you are paying um, an upfront deposit, and then your premium payments are spread out across your payroll cycle. And with ADP, we offer something called pay by pay. So you're only paying the true and accurate numbers based on your payroll. So you're not estimating, we're taking true payments. And this was really important for my client right here in Cerritos, California. They actually had to um, stop their business um, for a few weeks, their uh, recreation, and, um, but they're still getting their monthly bills, right? Uh, with ADP, you know, no payroll, there's no workers comp and, and so forth. So we are able to do pay by pay, which will help you make those accurate premium payments. Um, but also we can take those um, deductions and then there's little to no op, um, audit at the end because we have all the accurate information year to date. So there's no large um, upfront deposit and then we're just bringing up that operating capital for you. But in this time, again, just cash flow. How do you reduce that, that these bills right now? So just a fun fact, 70% uh, of companies are overpaying workers' comp insurance premiums and um, we definitely have some resources for you to assist with that. And if you haven't heard, um, you know, ADP is really differentiates themselves in the market because we offer three different platforms. One is the Workforce Now technology, which I will show you in just a second. Another is called Comprehensive Services, where you're able to outsource um, your HR and other levels of payroll if you need additional HR services and help. But the third one is called our PEO. It's a professional employment organization. And um, it's our largest and fastest growing uh, business unit right now because so many people want to take advantage of our group volume discounts that we get. So we have more than 550,000 people on this, um, the third largest employer in the United States. And because of that, we're able to save on benefits and workers' comp, right? We operated a 70X mod, but also um, our benefits, right? Like right now, everyone's trying to cut corners, save money. How do I keep my employees employed? Well, you know, anyone under 100 is paying that small group premium. They're age banded. How do we get, um, you know, better rates? Well, ADP Total Source is the answer. So we provide those comprehensive bene benefits. We um, walk you through everything administrative, um, especially during COVID, you know, as a co-employer, we are the ones who would help walk you through, you know, layoffs and furloughs and um, give you all the forms, give you the legal guidance and so forth. So if you are really, you know, people are able to save maybe a thousand dollars here and so forth, but if you're really looking to save some money, um, you know, I've certainly been able to help people save $120,000 just by having us take a look under the hood and jump on our um, benefits and workers comp. So, if you are open to a strategic conversation and really talk about the uh, economics and politics and sh social things that are going on right now, then ADP Total Source might be a good fit for you. The um, average return on investment is 27%. So again, if you're open to um, hearing a more strategic talk other than just our workforce now um, payroll technology that most people are used to, then please let me know. And so um, with that, I will switch over to our technology and give you a very quick demo. 
what you should be seeing on the screen right now is um, uh, my uh, Chrome. Leilani, did it switch? Yes, yes. And actually, you have a couple questions. I don't know. Do you want to wait until the very end? Yes. Uh, let's let's take them now. I've been talking a lot. Okay. So. <laughs> okay. So um, we have a question um, uh, in regards to workers' compensation. How does your workers' compensation handle the workers who aren't paying um, workers' comp on, um, i.e., like OSIP or CSIP? Good question. Um, there are definitely things that, you know, ADP won't write like longshoremen. Um, that's one of our carve outs. So what I would say is let's take a look at your codes and see if we can write them and what we could do for those things. Um, let's um, have a conversation. Okay. Great. Uh, and with then a, with a licensed broker, obviously, you know, like I'm not licensed to, um, I would get a partner involved. So I'll have a licensed partner uh, be able to answer your question and look at your codes and, and tell you within five minutes if we can, you know, assist. Okay. Okay. So we'll see if we can follow up with that attendee there. Um, another question was, does ADP have the ability to deduct from taxes, sick pay for employees who are out because of COVID-19 infection, which I think that came before you you got into it. Oh, yes, okay, yes. So we are um, prepared to uh, run those reports, keep track of those codes, um, as well as defer those social security payments. So everything that's happening with CARES and the FFCRA ADP uh, was ready as soon as it went into effect. So yes, everything is up and ready. Okay. And then we did have a question which I had um, tried to answer and they were hoping for a little bit more guidance or direction from you particularly. Um, so the question is a uh, question for ADP or anyone um, that can answer. How does the uh, Family First employee pay, Family First uh, care pay, or the uh, Family First FMLA pay re relate to the PPP or EIDL loan. Um, since we are to keep our employees employed, do we go about paying them following the Family First guidelines or continue as usual to the guidelines um, of these loan programs? And um, I had mentioned that I have some resources that I could send to um, this this attendee and to all of our attendees um, in how how that would work and what those loan programs are designed to do. Um, but they particularly wanted to see if they could get your take on it. Yes, um, I do have the answer for you, um, but I was advised not to translate any of that without the um, our HRBPs on the phone because ADP would be liable. So. I do have an answer for you, and I can get you on the phone um, with an HRBP or um, you know, some of my lawyer partners and so forth, uh, if, but we would have to do that on a one-on-one -on -one basis, so this is not interpreted as legal advice. But yes, okay. I do have an answer. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Politics. <laughs> Understandable. Yeah. So um, go ahead and um, email us, um, either me or Jessica, and then we can schedule some time to cover that. And that was, I think, all of the questions that we had. Okay, perfect. So I will go ahead and give a brief demo of this technology that I've been talking about. So this is the Workforce Now technology. This is our portal where your employees are able to see those messages. So they can get it on their iWatch or their mobile phone, but there's obviously an internet website where the employees can go in here and grab their pay information, such as their W-2s. They can change their direct deposits. Um, they can look at their um, W-4s, their direct deposits, and so forth. So this is a portal for your employees to go in. It really helps with the remote workforce, so they're not having to come to you with every task. Your employees have the um, control or power to go into the system and make those changes. Now you're still, you know, the practitioner of the system, so everything still flows through you through an approval process, but at least the employees are able to um, get it into the system right away. 
if you had our time in attendance, they could use it on the mobile app, they could use it on an iPad. Um, we have traditional time clocks, but again, you could also log into the system. Um, this is most popular with our um, white collar employees who sit in front of a computer all day, right? They can simply just click clock in and then go about their day. Other things that they, you as a practitioner will be able to do in the system, I think um, that's really relevant right now is our statutory compliance page. So every employee will have a page that looks like this. Um, you're able to keep track of their I-9, um, their EEO, their OSHA, um, the, but really right now um, FMLA. So, you know, I was in here playing yesterday and put illness of an employee. So. This is where you're able to keep track of those reports. And let's just say an OSHA auditor came in, you're able to print out those logs, the 300 logs right away and get them back out the door. So these are report ready and um, able for you to uh, keep track of all while sitting at the comfort of your own home. Something else that has been um, super, super popular is just the individual time card, right? Um, many people want to be able to keep track of all these different um, pay codes, right? So in a normal world, uh, we've got regular and sick and maybe holiday, maybe bereavement. Um, but right now we've got Families First FMLA, we've got um, the paid sick leave, and we've got the um, paid sick leave um, FMLA. So, there are three new codes that ADP has put in here. You're able to um, keep track of those hours, and you're also able to add notes to that as well. So the documentation, the codes, the reports, everything is ready in here for you. Um, and um, in addition to our normal time and attendance features, right? We obviously have the ability to schedule employees and approval time cards. We can keep track of your California mill pay penalties and so forth. But um, I'm just trying to show you a few of the features that are just super relevant to, to what's going on right now. A lot of the um, managers out in the field um, with the crew like this team dashboard. So they are able to quickly see that someone has a time off request. Um, I'm in a, demi a demo database, so obviously I don't have any employees working, but this would be very colorful for the managers who have people who are working right now, some people on break and working later. So just a dashboard for you to see all of the relevant info um, that managers need to be able to see and run these reports and have it um, very quickly uh, at their fingertips. I want to quickly show you some of the reports that we have available as well. Um, again, you are, have your standard and sample reports that come um, with the groundwork of ADP, and those are, you know, anniversary reports, benefits reports, um, birthdays. You're able to do a ton of time and attendance, different um, things, but we also have the custom report writer, which is something I'm very proud of. It's very simple. It's a drag and drop feature, and you are able to um, quickly view your report, add filters, um, concatenate, and all that good stuff. So uh, our accounting people typically love those. Um, and then these are the three reports that are ready for our users right now. So the monthly payroll cost, headcount, and then the details of that. So those reports are um, ready to go for our clients right now. One neat feature I also want to point out is our bridge. The bridge is um, ADP's practitioners. So while you have a ton of questions, um, you're able to go to a support center and talk to other ADP practitioners and professionals and, you know, in the construction who are dealing with these same issues. Um, so you can sort by like industry and just say, hey, I, I need assistance with this. I don't know if this quite appeals to me and, and how are you guys putting this in the system, how are you keeping track, and just get support from our HR network and friends and family that are across the globe that are also using the very same system that you are. So I think that's very neat to have that right there. So I will um, pause real quick. I just wanted to show some, some neat HR features. You know, I can, I can demo all day and, and show you our typical payroll and 
our time in attendance, our recruiting, and so forth. But I just wanted to give a quick glance at the features that are most relevant to uh, today's topic. Okay. I don't see yeah. any more questions in the in the box there, but if you do, send them on in. Uh, I know we have a few extra minutes, so I can definitely address any questions that you have. But uh, if not, then I uh, appreciate your time, and I'll hand it back to you, Elon. Thank you, Jessica. Um, it's always great to see your um, the presentations and your demos. We have a lot of resources, again, between Sage, TAG, and um, ADP. So I'm gonna send links with the slide deck as well as uh, the recording of this presentation. And again, if you have other questions that come up um, or just need to talk things out, I know um, this is kind of a stressful time for everyone, um, you have a lot of people behind you. So definitely take advantage of um, any help that you can from us, we're, we're happy to do that. So um, thanks again for joining everybody and um, have a great rest of your week. Thanks, Jessica. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye.